This is Tom Reckey and today I'm going over the seven best foods for alpha lipoic acid. So alpha lipoic acid, lots of great studies that show it can help with diabetes, with nerve pain, it helps some people's vision, some cardiovascular help. Kind of the main thing it's known for is nerve pain throughout the body. And the secret is there are some tricks to make sure you're getting enough because the studies made one thing very, very critical. And make sure you stick around to the end because after I tell you the foods, I'm gonna tie this all together to make sure it's working for you. Because you could be making a one mistake that derails the whole thing. And we're starting right now. So alpha lipoic acid is a magical antioxidant. What I mean by that is um, alpha lipoic acid is very unique because it has two things. It is both water soluble and fat soluble. So this is a real body antioxidant that can basically float between fat cells and water cells. And what an antioxidant does is free oxygen radicals. Basically oxygen can steal and donate electrons and it creates a positive and negative charge. And this can change the formation of certain enzymes and proteins in our body, making them get damaged. So like our cell walls, our mitochondria, so that parts of our body are not functioning well. Now they did a lot of great double blind studies and here's what alpha lipoic acid did. They took one group of people that took 600 milligrams of alpha lipoic acid per day and they took another group that did not take any. The group that took alpha lipoic acid had decreased blood sugars, they had a little bit less nerve pain, and they actually lost some weight at the end. Now, is that the only study? It's not. But I'm gonna tell you how this all makes sense at the end and why it's very important. There's also some placebo trials that say that alpha lipoic acid helped with some cardiovascular symptoms. There's some thoughts it could help with Alzheimer's disease. And there's a study that shows that it could potentially help with vision and deteriorating vision. Now that could be related to diabetes as well because that is a very common problem of diabetes. So what it basically does, it's a antioxidant. It helps this, uh, prevent some of that cell damage and it mimics insulin, helps take up blood sugar and helps with nerve pain. So it almost sounds too good to be true. So how do you get this into your system? And what I always do is I'm very, very big on pushing the greens, the healthy vegetables, and the diet. So, so here are my seven favorite foods that have alpha lipoic acid because hey, it's already in your body. So broccoli, spinach, Brussels sprouts, red organ meats, tomatoes. Now, the thing I like to do is if you have a tough time not eating, what I would do is I like to buy a lot of broccoli and a lot of spinach. It's not the cheapest in today's economy, but the reality is it's a lot cheaper than most other supplements. And what I would do is pre-stuff yourself. If you're gonna eat that chips anyway, at the end of the night, take a fistful of broccoli and force it into your mouth or take a fistful of spinach. It's easy to do. It's like, hey, you gotta earn that snack. If you're gonna eat something bad, eat a fistful of spinach. That's kind of been my trick when I need to lose weight for wrestling. You know, I would force myself to eat that stuff. And then all of a sudden, maybe you're not as hungry for that snack later, you know? So I would always make that promise to myself is before you eat that garbage snack, you eat a fistful of spinach. That'll, that's, that's the Tom diet right here. Uh, you can't miss, it's the new big hit. But here's the problem with trying to get alpha lipoic acid from your diet. For every dosage, you can see 1.5 microgram, that's not milligram. A microgram is one one thousandth of a milligram. If you're getting one microgram per gram of food, what that means is 100 grams is really 100 micrograms. So 1,000 grams, that's like 10 cups, is not even a milligram. So think about that, that's 0.1 of a milligram. You would have to eat like 2,000 cups of raw vegetables every single day to get the standard dosage that they tested with in that trial. So normally I'm all about food, but in this case, you know, in the trial, if you have diabetic nerve disease, a supplement may be helpful, but here's the big scam. Here is the big scam. And here's what you've been waiting for in this video. There are two types of made alpha lipoic acid. One is completely worthless and will steal your money. And what do you think the vitamin companies are selling? Which one do you think is synthetically named? 
There's R-alpha lipoic acid, which for me stands for real alpha lipoic acid. And then there's S-alpha lipoic acid, which for me stands for synthetic alpha lipoic acid. What do you think comes in your pill bottles that are not labeled? So if you look at the back of an alpha lipoic acid supplement, especially the cheaper ones, I'm not gonna mention any stores, but what do you think that is? Now, I'm gonna tell you something. It's called an antagonist relationship. So if there's two of me and there's one sandwich and we're both really hungry, so in this case, more is not better. The other Tom might steal the sandwich and there's none left for me. That's what happens with S-alpha lipoic acid. It can basically prevent our alpha lipoic acid from working. So it's not just take twice as much, but the thought process, the antagonistic thought process is here. And again, more studies are needed. You know, there's not a lot of studies out on this stuff, but this is kind of the currently held thought processes. Taking the S alpha lipoic acid is probably not good for you. You want to ideally take just the pure R alpha lipoic acid. So make sure you check the back, make sure it's R alpha lipoic acid. It is more expensive, you know, and that's the tough part with this treatment. Is it outrageous? It's not outrageous. Like realistically, if you're having severe nerve pain or you can't sleep, it's worth a shot. So go check out our alpha lipoic acid, check the studies that I link. So I do my best to find the most low cost, high quality supplement options. I do link them in the show notes below, but make sure you check with your doctor. This is a huge disclaimer. You know, this is not my pills. I don't get sponsored by them. Uh, nothing like that. This is my independent research based on the studies I have read in prepping for these videos and my experience and the success that patients tell me about. I'll admit a lot of this stuff's kind of cutting edge science. So check that out about our alpha lipoic acid. If somebody's wasting their money that you know, or has nerve pain, send them this video, see if it helps. Uh, give us a comment. Tell us if the R alpha lipoic acid is working and let us know. We want to keep making great videos like this for you and we'll see you in the next one. We have guides for everything. Keep watching. We appreciate you and good luck.